What do y'all think? Y'all think this was gonna be worth anything? Four dollars, that's... Ladies and gents, I'm with Mama Dola today. We're back again, but this time at Goodwill. Excuse me, Jeep. We're trying to get through here. You got a lot of comments, Mom, on YouTube. You want to say hello to everybody? Hello, everybody. Thank you for the comment. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at all these carts. Senior citizens of the day. Is that the lucky cart? Yeah. Nice yeah. wheels. Nice wheels? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see if we can find some stuff here, folks. It is orange tag. Yeah, we got an orange tag right here. So mom gets senior citizen 40%. And then double discount Wednesdays, military. I'll be getting that military discount. Oh, I'm just locking in. So we get close. Facebook. Oh, look at this. Look at this piece. After looking up the comps, after putting it in the cart, I put it back because it only resells for around $15. $3.99 for a tank top. So I thought I got some pants like this, folks. Exact pants like this. Jacks, I got them at Costco. And they are super comfortable. They're stretchy. We got them when we went out to Hawaii on our little trip. And I have a, a blue one and that brown one, I think, if it is brown. XL. I do love this brand. This is from Target. It's a really good brand. And they usually have discounts like carrots. So I do like, I do like good fellas. I have quite a bit of shirts of them. They're so good. And I don't like retail like that, but they are comfortable. Slim Fit XL. Not my kind of joggers, but seven dollars. More and more joggers are going to be coming out. What do we got here? Las Vegas Aviators Nike Dry Fit. This might be one. I'm going to look up the comps on this. Could only find one listed, only one, and it happens to be on eBay. So for eight dollars, I think it could sell for around forty. You got a lot of love for Mama Dola in the comments, and I was reading them to her, all of them, and she just had a smile from ear to ear, and they're still coming in, so it's pretty cool. They got eight dollars for a Harley Davidson legendary motorcycle, Las Vegas. Um, uh, might be worth it to double up for the for the shop, but I want it for less if that was the case. But that is a good good one. What was it? Thumbs up, Hawaii. Mikey bags of money shirt coming up soon. What is this? This looks vintage, it's 100% Rayon. Thumbs up sportswear Hawaiian shirts since 1979. Wow, it's a really cool shirt. Just something about red and me. Let's go. Old school BDUs. I remember wearing them. What else we got in here? Any, any good stuff? Got a tangle up in here. Captain Bora muscle shirts. Snowmus. And one Massimo. This is another primitive riot society. This is gonna be a Ross brand. Cool design. If it was a 2X, I would get Especially it for exercising. Time. But resale, it'll get you around $15, so new good. and used. Is this a shark? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Power Rangers? Nope. Gas car. Got a NAS cartel right here. Which is this? NASCAR towel, five ninety nine. Very cool towel. Joe Shades. These were some very cool towels, and I would get them for myself if they were just a little bit cheaper. If they're four dollars, I'll definitely pick them up because they could resell for around fifteen to twenty dollars. What is this over here? Hiding away Power Rangers. Sabins, big old print on the back. Hmm. What do y'all think? Y'all think this is gonna be worth anything? Four dollars. That's. I think that's a good shop piece right here. 
I wonder if it's actually worth more than that. Like, if, is it eBay or is it shop or is it whatnot? Got an old school little bike. Real metal BMX frame, tire tool, and unlock. Original little bending. Well, a lot of bending on that corner for five dollars. Do y'all think this is worth it? You think this is worth getting for five dollars and reselling? If it was brand new, it would be worth it. But in the condition it's in, I ended up putting it back. Don Allerson Athletics. Nakata. Probably on to give away twelve ninety nine. Oh my! Edmonton, Canada. Ooh, this is a single stitch. These are great tees that I like to resell on any platform. It should get me around fifteen to twenty dollars. Vintage one too. What do you got here? Got a good brand, and it is the size I'm looking for for me. For exercising, I like these heavy sweaters. This one's pretty cool. It got a pocket and a zip pocket. Keys, AirPods. Get a good sweat in. I think about this one. Russell is a brand that's been around for decades. I recommend, highly recommend, researching vintage Russell sweatshirts, hoodies, t-shirts, you name it. Look it up. You'll be amazed. I love this brand. What do we got over here, folks? This is nice. 149. It looks like it's worth it. Got it here. Trunks up. We got sticker Cultura. It is marble really nice piece five bucks i want to pick this one up put this right here all right look at this little wicker basket this is really cool four dollars 99 cents i think this will be worth it i think it'll sell for more than 20. super lightweight too so if it makes it to where we could get it on whatnot if it doesn't sell in the shop pretty confident confident it will sell on whatnot yeah. If you want. Yeah. If not, dude, no big no, deal. No, no. I, you do your thing. Never know. I got mine too, so yeah. I get you. Yeah, I saw I was like, ah. Cool. What's, uh, uh, uh. I don't have anything posted, but uh, I'll give you my number. Okay. Um, I've been there. Everything and like, literally, that's my mom. What, are, what are you on Instagram? Uh, Joe Haya. That's okay. why I said it's each other. Line. J O H I A H. Uh, your candies up? and stuff there too? I have it too. Breaking Brittle is the, actually the website for that. Okay. I haven't launched yet. The Haya. Here in the video approached me and said hey are you a reseller because i got some stuff you might be interested in i was like cool to reach that vibe because uh, years ago i had the face that it looked like i was gonna rip people's head off and i'm glad i'm approachable now i'm glad my world has changed and i'm glad the way all this is working out for me with you in my community and me in your community that i'm growing so much as a person and people are able to feel the good vibes that I want to share and they approached me like Jahaya did who told me he has a crazy amount of toys that are sealed and also he's going to start a peanut brittle company which I love peanut brittle and I do love a good chewy peanut brittle and now that I'm getting older I really like a like a semi medium bite into crisp crunch I like to hear the crunch like potato chips but it had that sweet candy taste peanut brittle and um yeah stay tuned for that because we shared information and hopefully if I'm if I can't afford it, maybe my friends can afford it who are much bigger and actually collect that type of stuff. But we all start somewhere and you gotta give people a chance just like you want them to give you a chance. Smet Jahaya, pretty cool dude. Saw my camera on my chest, my GoPro, and invited me to buy some of his toys. He said it's down in his basement and uh check it out one day. He said don't tell nobody. So I figured like he sounds like a trusting guy. So stay tuned for that in the future. He puts the lotions on his skin. Thank you. Jahaya and his mom were telling me about how their dad used to work for a uranium company and handed me these two plates. We'll check them out later. Our friends caught up in a moment for like 20 minutes talking to Jahaya and um, they showed me some depression glass. I believe it's depression. It kind of has like that green tint. 
that we won't find out till we get home. I have where my black lights at. I didn't bring it with me. Well, very cool. He saw the camera on my chest and was like, hey, are you interested in toys? I'll give you my number. And I was like, oh. This brand on has been on my checklist for years. FP1, if you know what it is, put it down in the comments. How have you done with it? It's free people, which I didn't know at first, but just the material and quality and just the way it looked really caught my attention. And even if it wasn't a big reseller, I was gonna pick it up anyways. I just fell in love with it. I ended up finding that they're all sold out on their site and only one other person who is on eBay has it listed for $96 brand new. So I think I can make around $50 for it. There's always tank tops and regardless of the time of the year, season i'm always looking into them i end up scoring four dollars for this tank top retail 45 dollars i tried looking it up online and i couldn't find anywhere so if it's rare i'm gonna have it at a high price i should make around 30 dollars for it i'll be happy at 20 for 40 but this one right here this one caught my attention and then i saw the tag and it told me it wasn't their insurance company it's not geico it's actually a vintage brand that sells for big moolahs or should I say, chuching. These comps are amazing. Get a nice shop here, T. Primitive. Easy Primitive and Dragon Ball Z are like limited edition runs. Looks like there's more over here. This one's a little bit more used. It does have some cracking. Anything else in here? Rolling Stones. Could be a newer type shirt. I should make around fifteen dollars on this one. Here's a unique shirt. Don't know the brand, but it's feels like really good material. That's the tag. Any of y'all know what this is? There's some people who come into our boutique and get light stuff like this, and this might be some good money. And for the price, I think it's worth it. We'll have to do some research on that one. Got a Shelby brand new with tags. Shelby official apparel. Four dollars. Card it. This is a cool shirt. Simple shirt. A little stain right there, like a blemish. It's a size XL, but on the back side, it looks like it's Santa. But that's the ACG character. It's pretty cool. Have this maybe the an exercise tee. But it looks like the shoulders is for women. Yeah, that's not gonna fit me. If I didn't have that little blemish, I would take it to resell, but and if it was the guys, I would take it for myself. A couple of clothes. Yeah. Yeah, not too much today, huh? No, this is for me. It's for you? Yeah, because this. Yeah. That one is uh, it's nice red. Yeah, that is in yeah, see penny one. And this one. It's not still new. Oh brand new attacks. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. This one I like this brand. Mm hmm I have some clothes like that. Yeah, that's your style. It's pretty. Only this. So. The what? The Nike. The Nike shoes? Oh, yeah. they're probably expensive, so they have them in there. The lady said that these plates, just by looking at them, or depression glass plates. So I'm gonna take the tape off here. They're only $2.99 for two of them. Lay them down right here. Angle this right here. And I got the black light right there. And look at that, voila. Yeah, they didn't want them either. This one has a, a bigger glow. Has a stronger glow on this one. 
Very, very cool. Very cool. Ladies and gents, thanks for watching. I hope you liked. That's going to be that little thumb emoji down on the bottom of the screen to the left. And then also, folks, I'm still getting comments about they're not getting updates of videos that I'm putting out. So make sure when you subscribe, there's going to be a little bell feature to the right of subscribe when you click on it and should have some bells on there and options to not get any alerts. Uh, and then I just go ahead and click all alerts. So make sure you have that. So that way, when I post out a video, you could see it, uh, an alert when it comes up. And if there's a live uh, premiere coming up, you could also hit a notification so that way it updates you. So even I have to remind myself on my phone to uh, set the time so I don't miss it because it's happened before. So thanks for watching. I had a really good time and I hope you did too. Mama Dolda is going to be more and more videos. She's enjoying it more and more. And that's our way or my way of getting her to exercise. <laughs> Everybody hates that word, but it's been doing a lot of good for me. My face is shrinking. My belly is going to be the last thing that I see really big changes in. But as long as I keep going with the support group that I'm in, and I hope that you find your own support group and or create one and find the kind of people like I have that are not putting you down. We have a lot of fun. We joke a lot, but we don't bring people down. We bring people up or we hold them to maintain. That's also a good thing is to maintain and not get in any worse condition or in a previous condition that you were trying so hard to get out of. So folks, here's a sneak peek of the next video with Carrie and Don. Is that the lucky cart? Uh, What'd you find, Carrie? I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you anymore. Anymore? <laughs> I was like, what, what's happening? I thought he was about to attack me. I was like, who's this crazy person? Do you know this guy right here? I, I'm like standing here going, okay, what's happening? <laughs> hey, what would you? What would happen if somebody gets in a fight here? Like, I would get kicked out. Just I? call nine one one, or you're like, hey, yeah, we, no, yeah, I gotta we go. We don't get involved. We we just call. We like, just call the popo. Do you just yell like dog pile, and everybody just jumps in? <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, that happened in the Verizon store one time. Make sure to check out these videos here. Go through them, check out which ones you haven't seen, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I did creating them. 